And that's okay though. Eli was a wood carver. He created the wooden people called the Wemmings. Eli lived on the highest hill in the village. Even though he was on the highest hill, he could still hear and see the wooden people he had created. Eli knew everything about the Wemmings. He loved them and took care of them. One day, a Wemmick named Punchinello noticed a big package in his mailbox. He was so surprised someone had given him a gift. Punchinello quickly unwrapped the gift. A hammer I love to build, but who gave it to me? Not far away, in another house, lived Lucia. Lucia had received a gift, too. Lucia quickly unwrapped the gift. A paintbrush and paint. I love to paint, but who gave it to me? Splint and Woody lived down the street from Lucia. They received gifts too. Splint and Woody quickly opened their gifts. A needle and thread. I love to sew, but who gave it to me? I got a drum. I love to play music, but who gave it to me? All the lemmings received gifts. I got a spoon. I love to cook, but who gave it to me? I got a vase. I love to pick flowers, but who gave it to me? I got a bucket and sponge. I love to clean, but who gave it to me? I got a book. I love to read, but who gave it to me? makes all love their gifts. But they didn't know who gave them their gifts and what the gifts were for. Suddenly, the Wemmings noticed a poor family walking into town. The women dropped all their gifts and ran to help the family. The Wemmicks went back to the village 
and help the family. This time it worked because they used the gifts they were given. Yeah. 